your assessment, you will be looking at pages 16 and 17 of everything you need to know about frogs and other slippery creatures. I'm going to go ahead and read these pages out loud to you, and then you will use this information to answer the following questions. So we're going to start here with this section, colors. Amphibians and reptiles have a variety of markings and colors. The spectrum ranges from bright reds and blues to muddy greens and browns. Some have spots, while others have stripes. This is a red-eyed tree frog. This is a fire salamander. And then we have and markings. This is a Texas coral snake. Markings can be deceptive. Milk snakes have thin black bands and thick yellow and red bands. They aren't poisonous, but they appear to be dangerous because their banding is so similar to venomous coral snakes. So here's a regal ring neck snake. Here's a southern dwarf chameleon. Colorful camouflage. The pattern and color of an amphibian or reptile can help it to blend in with its surroundings to hide from predators. Chameleons, as their name suggests, have an amazing ability to hide themselves by changing their appearance. They can alter their color as well as their markings. And in this little circle, we have a strawberry poison dart frog. Strawberry poison dart frogs are bright red. This acts to warn other creatures that their skin secretions are highly toxic. And here we have a collared lizard. And in this last little box, it says hide and seek. The Pacific tree frog is able to blend into its surroundings very easily. It reacts to seasonal changes and can switch its coloring from brown to green. It can also change its markings and the lightness of its skin according to the shift in background brightness. 